hey guys welcome to the channel and thank you for watching another reaction video rory jennings again and we all know that he's the master of controversy and another controversial topic is there so i'm gonna watch together with you and try to give my opinion and let me remind you some of the controversy in the chelsea community and even in football world in general he's known as you know mr controversy so remember when he said that roman abramovich needed to go because of some decisions that he made sucking lampard or doing this and that uh he talked about thomas Tuko. he didn't want him to sign for chelsea football club and then after that he went back again and say i'm sorry thomas Tuko, you are a genius and then again you are crap the, the worst manager you have to leave you know it's always like kind of flip-flopping and then the nagels man because he can ride on skateboards coming to work with a skateboard he doesn't have the edge to manage a chill he doesn't have the pedigree and all that harland won't score even 15 goals in the premier league and all that okay so the last controversy is about pochettino but this one is kind of cool for many people because it's exactly what people want to hear so at least this topic here is something that people will love because that's what people want to hear so when you tell people what, what they want to hear they love you simple as that Here we go, let's go. Mauricio Pochettino is not a Chelsea man. It is as clear as day to see that Pochettino does not belong at Chelsea. He is so Tottenham, it is unbelievable. He is as Tottenham as it gets. And crucially, and most importantly, it will end in disaster. Okay, so from the get-go, literally he said that Pochettino is too spursy to be a Chelsea manager. I kind of agree with, with him because that was my mindset at the beginning. I didn't want to even hear about this brother. When people were reporting about Pochettino, I tried to ignore it. I tried to pretend as if I didn't hear anything because I didn't want him. I don't like him. His association with the Tottenham Hotspurs and PSG, my local, my local team in Paris, I don't like them and everything that uh, fans were saying when he was a manager over there, I was sick and tired. And then I remember also when Thomas Tuchel was coaching uh, PSG and all the toxicity and, and the mindset that I had back then influenced me to accept him at Chelsea Football Club. So I learned that sometimes you have to keep an open mind. So... In that point, I understand the mindset. Look, on one very insignificant level, it would be quite funny because Tottenham fans would be crying. But he is so wrong for what we need. And it feels to me like this is Rafael Benitez all over again. Anybody that was around Stamford Bridge when Rafael Benitez was our manager will acknowledge that that era was as toxic and poisonous as it could possibly be. I think he's wrong on this one. Benitez said horrible things about Chelsea Football Club. He called Chelsea a small, a small club. He called Chelsea oily, uh, oil, oil money. He called Chelsea all kind of names when he was at Liverpool. And people don't forget those kind of stuff. Mauricio Pochettino, I don't remember when he insulted Chelsea or said any kind of uh, bad things about Chelsea Football Club. I don't think it's going to get toxic because I see many people buying to the idea when they start thinking outside the box and start thinking past the Tottenham history, if that makes sense. And that is why there is a conversation that history could repeat itself. That is why there is a conversation about bringing Pochettino to Stamford Bridge because the people who are making that decision 
They'd never heard of Chelsea when Rafael Benitez was appointed. They didn't know what Chelsea Football Club was. They didn't know what it represented. They didn't know who we were and what made us what we are. Okay, so basically, talking about Bolly and his people, never heard about football before, never heard about Chelsea Football Club and all that. I agree with him. But now they have people who've been in the business for more than 20 years. People who do football 24-7 for a living. People like Vivel. People like Win Stanley. The people who appointed Pochettino are not clueless people, American people, as people will try to make it sound like. Now they own the club. So they don't know how this ends. We do. We've lived it. We know how awful the Benitez era was. My worst ever moment at Stamford Bridge occurred in that era. Sitting at Stamford Bridge, watching Queen's Park Rangers fans in the shed end celebrate a Sean Wright Phillips winner with Rafael Benitez in our home dugout. It was so alien to us. It's not who we are. I remember when we went to Middlesbrough and Rafael Benitez was calling out the fans effectively. It was awful, it was a mistake, and we vowed to learn from that mistake. And this is history repeating itself, but it's even worse. It's even worse because it's Tottenham, and it's even worse because whatever Chelsea fans felt towards Rafael Benitez, you couldn't argue with the fact that he was a very good manager. Mauricio Pochettino is Rafael Benitez, but without the silverware. Rafael Benitez won the Liga with Valencia. What? You can say whatever you want, but Pochettino won some trophies with PSG. Of course, we know that everybody can go there. Even your grandmother will win trophies and medal. But even Thomas Tuchel had to go through PSG to win a big trophy. Well, he won the German Cup before that. But before, uh, before Chelsea Football Club, he didn't have any big trophies like... Uh, like European Cup, he came to Chelsea and he got it. So, in that sense, you have to give him the benefit of the doubt. Rafael Benitez won the European Cup with Liverpool. He is clearly a very good manager. The same can't be said for Mauricio Pochettino. He's all right. He's all right. But the winning winning Liga and winning the Cup, it's, it's okay. But I just don't think he is the manager that people think he is. I think he underachieved at Tottenham. I feel like... the What? Underachieved at Tottenham? That is so disrespectful. The guy took them from nowhere and put them to regular top four. Every season Champions League spot. And I know that he bottled one of uh, the seasons. But yeah, you had uh, Leicester City, and then you had Chelsea, and then you had other teams to give you hard time. And then he wasn't backed. Those players are the players that he developed from nowhere. But at Chelsea Football Club, you have the backing. You have good players already. You have the great academy. And then you have money to buy also some players that you have. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Pochettino didn't have the same luxury the same budget at Tottenham Hotspurs. So this is going to be completely different. Saying that he underachieved is really not good. The narrative is that he overachieved at Tottenham, but he didn't. He should have won the league. That Tottenham team should have won some silverware. A huge reason as to why Tottenham have such a pitiful record when it comes to silverware. A huge reason why Tottenham haven't won any silverware since 08 when I was in Wembley Stadium when Woodgate scored. A huge reason as to why is Pochettino, because he had the best Tottenham team of my lifetime. Okay, so he said he's the reason why they failed. But before Pochettino, they had the money from Gareth Bale. They bought all the big players in the world. Did they win anything? No. Pochettino came and then took youngsters from here and there, developed them and put them to, the, to that level. So they just needed to add some money on top so he can get some key element to, to, to just cross that line and break that wall. But what uh, Daniel Levy did, he sucked him.
he sacked him after reaching the final of the Champions League. And then he brought Moreno. Moreno didn't win anything, did he? Well, he got to a final of a Mickey Mouse Cup, the, the whatever it's called, the Carling Cup or Carabao Cup. And then they brought uh, Antonio Conte. They gave Moreno a lot of money. They gave Antonio Conte a lot of money. Pochettino, zero money. There were like two transfer windows, not even one one signing that's how bad he was and then they're gonna have like couple signings here leftovers and then you're gonna tell me that he is the problem why they didn't win anything he is the he is the reason why they are in that place to begin with conte didn't win anything Moreno didn't win anything avb didn't win anything so I think I'm not trying to defend Mauricio Pochettino here because I'm still skeptical. I didn't want him. I don't want him. But there is nothing wrong by telling the truth or giving somebody the benefit of the doubt. Just because you failed yesterday doesn't mean that you're going to fail tomorrow because you learn more in failure than in victories. So me, if Todd Bowley wanna continue the process with uh, Mauricio Pochettino I am, I am going to welcome him and I am going to wish him all the best and he's gonna be successful because this is Chelsea Football Club that what Tottenham Hotspurs that what they do they don't win anything that what Antonio Conte said but you are coming to a team of winners and we're gonna prove people wrong that you can come from Tottenham Hotspurs and win trophies at Chelsea Football Club. This His video is too long, so I don't want to make this uh, reaction video like two hours. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. Go watch the video and tell me what you think about everything that he said. I know that many people are going to like him and subscribe and send money because exactly what people want to hear that is how manipulation happen on social media i have the impression that the, the guy sometimes he act he doesn't mean certain things that he will say but it's about getting reaction it's about boosting algorithm on social media because controversial topics are gonna bring you a lot of money and a lot of attention so the guy is really a genius at what he does and you have to to upload well done well done